Business has picked up in recent months at this roadside stop north of Oslo in Norway, but it's not due to a new road, shop or theme park opening nearby. Instead, it's down to this, the world's largest set of superchargers for electric cars. Det er jo veldig bra for, for oss, det er derfor vi laget en så stor ladestation for at folk skal kunne stoppe her og spise, ta en matbit, litt kaffe og hvile mens de skal, før de skal kjøre videre igjen. Så det er veldig, veldig godt for oss. Det er 20 superchargers for Teslas upmarket vehicles, and 8 for other cars, and it takes about half an hour to charge them up to 80%, just enough time for a coffee and sandwich. Norway has become a world leader in electric cars with enthusiastic early adopters spurred on by generous subsidies and tax breaks. But the question now for Norway is can it show that electric cars can enter the mass market and what kind of challenges does that bring to the country? The growth in electric car sales has been so rapid that Norway is becoming a test ground for car makers such as Nissan, Opel and Volkswagen. Even this minister, known for his love of cars, big and small, is a fan. I think the most important thing with what Norway has done is to show that as a society we can work around with the electric cars. People actually prefer them if they have a choice. Owners of electric cars would buy one more if they could. You can use it as your only car because we have the charging station system put up so that you have the range. Electric cars in Norway have been helped by a number of incentives. They don't have to pay VAT when you buy it, which saves a lot of money. There's very low annual road tax. There's free charging, free parking and free use of toll roads. So it's not just about being good for the environment, it's also good for your wallet. I think that's obviously true. We can't afford it because it costs a lot of money. And in the long run, I don't think people expect it either. People don't expect to have their petrol subsidized and they don't expect to have their uh, electricity in their EV subsidized either. And I don't think anyone really has the answer. Denmark changed their subsidies and it was a total disaster for EV penetration in, uh, in Denmark. We, we obviously can't go in that direction, but we need to find some way to make it commercial. Norway is setting its ambitions sky high. By 2025, all new cars sold should be electric. For Western Europe's biggest oil producer, it's a bold bet against petroleum. And it's also one that's likely to keep Norway as a test bed for both car makers and policy makers for the foreseeable future. Richard Milne, Financial Times, the Nebenus Rest Stop in Norway.